Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to go over the Fandango affiliate program, some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like, and a few different ways that you can promote it as an affiliate. So we're going to talk a little bit about what Fandango is and who this is right for. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, Fandango claims to be the number one movie ticket seller for online tickets in the United States. It's the go-to place for moviegoers. And so that can be a good opportunity if you are interested in creating content in the movie niche. But keep listening because I'm going to go over some stuff like the, the commission structure, the cookie window, all that good stuff, all that stuff that you need to know. So make sure that you keep watching. And speaking of the affiliate structure, now Fandango will only pay its affiliates a 10 cent per ticket sold. So if you and your spouse go on the movies and they use an affiliate link, that's 20 cents. In addition, and this is kind of the confusing part that I'll get into in just a little bit, according to their website, they will pay $2 for every gift card sold. Now that's according to their website. And I'll get to into that in just a moment. And so I just did the math for you. If you wanted to make $100 per day, you would need to sell 1,000 tickets or 500 gift cards or a combination of the two. So know that going into it, if you are thinking about promoting uh, the Fandango affiliate program and the Fandango affiliate program is partnered with Commission Junction. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to work with them before you can apply to the program. And I always like to add this disclaimer and make sure that you are giving relevant, honest, truthful information when you are applying to affiliate programs and affiliate networks, because these guys will actually go verify. If you're telling them that you have 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, that's easily verifiable. They'll ask for your YouTube channel. They'll look and see that you have eight subscribers and then you'll get rejected. So you want to make sure that you are being honest and truthful. And the same thing goes for blogs. There's a number of ways that you can verify exactly how much traffic a blog is getting. So you want to make sure that you're being honest. Now, what will happen is if you're caught lying or misleading the affiliate program and the affiliate network, you can be rejected from the affiliate program and kicked out of the affiliate network. So just be honest. If they say no, just move on to something else. There are tons of opportunities out there. But quickly, let's talk about the affiliate cookie window. We know that they're going to pay 10 cents for every ticket sold and $2 maybe for every gift card, but they actually have a 14 day cookie window, which is a little bit longer than other retail stores. Now I consider ticket sales retail. Um, that's probably a sub niche, but the 14 days is longer than something like Amazon or Best Buy, which is good. Um, further on in this article, and again, if you want to read the entire blog post, I have it over on my website, alstingodbolt.com. But some of the good things with the Fandango affiliate program is they have a very good EPC or earnings per click. Now, basically what that means is the amount of money that you can earn on average anytime someone clicks your link. Now that EPC is $6.79, which is very good. Um, anything really over three or four dollars is good, but if they have an EPC of six dollars and seventy-nine cents, that is pretty good. So um, that's a good thing. Another thing that I like is the 14-day cookie window. Um Again, when you compare it to something like Amazon, Amazon only has a 24 hour cookie window. And so Amazon can be very tough for people that are looking to make money. And the other thing that I like to do is I like to promote the best of the best. Why mess around and try and build a brand for someone else when you can piggyback off of a brand that's already established. So I like, I like those um, aspects of the Fandango affiliate program. Now let's take a quick look at some of the things that I don't like. I don't like the conflicting information up the top, as I mentioned, I said $2 when a customer buys a gift card, but when you look at Commission Junction, it says 3%. Now, you wouldn't know that unless you got into the back office of Commission Junction. Now, I have, uh, I've been approved to join Commission Junction, so I can see that, but if you were just looking at their website, it says $2, which is going to be kind of like, uh, this isn't going to be worth it, but it's 3%. Now, that number doesn't seem like a huge difference, but it is when you start talking about thousands of dollars. Um, that's basically what our goal is, is to make a full-time income. And if you want to use the Fandango affiliate program, you want to make sure that it's either $2 or 3% because that is a huge difference. Also, the commission is tiny when compared to other affiliate programs in the space. Um, for example, AMC Networks, MoviePass, and DealFlix all have much better uh, commission 
as well as Cookie Windows. These other four affiliate programs have Cookie Windows of at least 30 days, whereas Fandango is only 14 days. Now, the thing is, is usually with if you are if if, a, if an affiliate program is the leader in the industry, usually they're going to offer less of a cookie window and less on the commission side. So this is not totally unexpected or even unreasonable. It's just something to be aware of if you are looking to make money in the movie space. So now that we talked about some pros, we talked about some cons. I have a list of alternatives, which I've already alluded to: AMC Networks, DealFlix, MoviePass, PeerFlix Digital, as well as Amazon. And then here's some very good ways in my opinion some great ways to promote it you could start a blog in a niche so you could start a blog in horror movies and then include banners and affiliate links to fandango same with youtube you could also create a youtube channel that talks about movies now one good opportunity with the youtube channel are those top 10 listicle type movies like 10 things you didn't know about x-men universe or whatever that movie is that's a good opportunity because people love to watch those types of movies Include your affiliate link in the description, and then there you go. You can do basically the same thing on TikTok. Um, I think that if you tweet out helpful information when a new movie pops up, that can be a good opportunity as long as you're not spamming your affiliate links. And then I have a few other other options or opportunities in there as well. Again, go ahead and read this entire blog post if you want to learn more about the Fandango affiliate program. If you want to learn how to promote it, you want to learn some of the details about the affiliate program, definitely head on over to alstongodbolt.com because I think it's a pretty good article and you'll learn a lot. Now again, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification if this video or any other video has helped you out today. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.